if 30 percent of America's women are having sexual assaults and then you put on top of that child abuse and neglect, physical abuse, it's easy to get to half or two-thirds of America's kids are being traumatized. Dr. Wunderlich says trauma changes a child in fundamental ways. When you put a kid in a situation that's just overwhelming, it's not just their mind that changes, their body changes all the way down to the way their brain functions and even perhaps the size of their brain. The Department of Human Services is hosting a training to address the connection between childhood trauma and addiction. If you talk to any of the professionals in there, they know that there's a problem, a relationship, but wanting to really dig into deeper. What is that relationship and how can they really better serve the uh, clients and the families that they're working with? Presenter Nicola Herding says it can be hard to tell if a child has been a victim of trauma. Symptoms of sadness, um, irritability, anger, shame, doubt. But these are symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder. And not all children who experience trauma and later develop a substance abuse disorder have PTSD. Sometimes um, kids seem like they're just different. Um, and we kind of label them maybe saying they're really they're really hyperactive or they might be have ADHD. But when we look at the behavior, we don't kind of look at what maybe the cause of the behavior is. We may miss the fact that trauma may be contributing to that behavior or emotional change. Dr. Wunderlich says the answer is in screening those 60% of kids who experience trauma but manage to steer clear of addiction in adult life. Renee Cooper, KX News. Training sessions are happening all month across the state. For the full schedule, visit our KX News website, mindnow.com.